splashing the soldier the game spitter. These are the mistakes Miss Mercedes made. This is the dark side of being a city girl, of being an IG model. This is the side where city girls, Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, Rene Rucci, all these rappers, Sukahana, they don't tell you about this side. They don't tell you the cons of being a city girl, an IG model. They don't put you on game on none of that stuff. They tell you how to, you know, get your body right, become a boss chick, be independent, raise your kids, and stuff like that. They put you on game on that, but they don't tell you the cons. They come with that lifestyle when you choose that road, when you choose that door. Shout out to Ayo Kaseko. Y'all females gotta understand, Miss Mercedes situation is just a con of being an IG model. You know, like with the rappers, the street guys, the gangsters, people that's in that light, the, even the fake ones, right? They consequences is going to jail, getting snitched on, you know, dealing with uh, other demons, dealing with FBI, dealing with ATF, dealing with regular police, dealing with scammers, finessers, jays, and all that there, competition, haters, y'all consequences, and what y'all gotta deal with, you know what I'm saying, is Ted Bundy type of people, psychopaths, serial killers, men that can't control their excitement, Men that can't control their lusts, their fetishes that they have for women that they can't have. Because there's different levels of the psychopath world. You got the rich ones, gatekeeper ones. You got the poor ones, the homeless ones. You got the truck driver ones, the rapper ones, the R&B single ones, the sport player ones, all different type of the lawyer ones, the police ones. Now the elite ones, you know, they get so tired of getting so much money, the only thing that make them happy is doing things that they can't have. Taking things that they can't have seeing people suffer, seeing people beg. So that's why you have websites like Dark Web, and then you got different categories in the Dark Web. And one of the categories is y'all. Yeah, you gotta understand right now, ladies, they paying 10 grand to get you, they line you up to get you kidnapped for human trafficking to get you, yeah. You know, you got different type of human trafficking. You got the sex trafficking, and then you got the real human trafficking. The FBI, they merged the sex trafficking with human trafficking to get a pimps more time. Now with the human trafficking, you know, you got main hubs. And I think she was in Texas. Texas is a main hub. El Paso, they, you know, they set the laws for human trafficking. For America, El Paso is the biggest, you know what I'm saying? That's who's calling shots for the other cities and states in America. Then you got other main hubs like Atlanta. That's a main hub. Out West, California, that's a main hub. You see what I'm saying? And the reason why they have paid 10 grand, you know, to an average person that'll line you up to get kidnapped because y'all and hide the man for surgery see you gotta understand when they pay 10 grand or 20 grand you know they even pay more for uh chicks that's under 18 right the reason why they pay that because you gotta think y'all women y'all buying all these titties these thighs these asses these lip surgeries and all that so a female getting a bbl that can cost a 10 grand so they done made their money back already when they because you're gonna die when they when they pay if they pay a guy 10 grand to get you kidnapped you know what i'm saying get you trafficked Nine times out of 10, you're gonna be tortured then killed because they're gonna be taking different body parts off your body. Understand to sell it on the dark web, on the dark net. Now you think, you can not, you ain't gotta believe it. You ain't gotta believe it. They give you examples in the movies. You see what I'm saying? They give you examples in movies like Hostel, movies like uh, even The Purge. I think it was the election year Purge. You know, when they bid on different, yeah, they, you can watch these type of, uh, you can watch females like Mercedes that look like that or other white girls. You see what I'm saying? Get tortured and get slaughtered. You know, that's on a lower level. You know what I'm saying? For the females who be, you know, IG models or they escorts or prostitutes. That's on a lower level to get kidnapped. It used to be in the late 60s, early 70s, 80s, early 90s, late 90s. It used to be just hitchhikers. You know what I'm saying? Females that ran away from home. You know what I'm saying? Females like that that get caught up in the situation or one of the ones that just jump in one of them cars. And then the only females really had to worry about that was the white ones in the beginning. Now it switched. It switched to anybody can get it. Whether you a hitchhiker that throw your thumb up or you a, a model like Mercedes. You know what I'm saying? Or you even higher than that. If they can get their hands on you, then they can get you. They're going to try to get you. Understand? Let me give y'all women some safety tips how to get out of certain situations with psychopaths, stalkers, serial killers, rapists, situations like that. I studied these guys for a long time. So understand, first of all, your females, especially if you're an IG model, you flex, you got a body, you got your body done, you're around the streets, you're around middle class, rich, it don't even matter. It ain't no safe zones, right? It ain't no way you can move to and it's not happen to you. 
understand because you got to think we ain't talking about gangbangers and street guys and hustlers we're talking about psychopaths and predators and stuff so they have they be a lot of them be successful a lot of them have good careers you think oh don't think like they they, ain't, they don't got no check stubs they don't got no relationship with the banks where they can't get in the neighborhood where you live at yeah you're a lawyer or yeah you're a female truck driver or yeah you're an ig model like mercedes and you can afford three or four grand a month rent or mortgage or even more they can too because they doctors lawyers truckers cops business owners ceos yeah all different type of career choices have that same type of fetishes so the one of the first thing y'all need to do is get y'all a good knife yeah, y'all be trying to skip to the gun. The gun thing, that's cool. But y'all don't even carry that all the time. But get you a good knife. No, I ain't talking about no regular. I'm talking about a knife that costs you about 250 175 300 Yeah, y'all can spend 200 on the jades. Spend 200 on the knife. Get the knife that go through car doors. And on the back of the knife, they have a little piece that can bust windows. If you hit the end of the glass, it'll bust the window. It'll shot of the glass. It'll get you out of certain jams. You see what I'm saying? Because y'all women, y'all put yourself in certain jams. Y'all be jumping in cars with dudes. As long as they get to know you, you'll feel safe. You know what I'm saying? If they driving a certain car, they don't even got to get to know you. Just jump in it. You know, you let them in your house. You see what I'm saying? Because with the knife, you can always keep that on you. You know what I'm saying? You might wear some tight, a tight fit. You can always, they had a little hook where you hook to your pants or your bra, all that on the back of it, right? So you can hook it to your shirt. I mean, inside of your shirt where your bra at, inside of your hip. You know what I'm saying? Pocketbook, whatever. You can keep it on you, right? How y'all women find a good knife to get? Do you go to Walmart? No. Do you go to Dick's Sporting Good? No. You want to go to the gun shows yeah, in your city, in different cities in your state. It can be, it only got to be in your state. Any gun show, the Army, Navy store, stores like that. You want to go to where the military go. You want to go to where them rednecks going, the ones that be preparing for doomsday, the ones that hunt. Yeah, you need to look up YouTube videos. Who got the best knives? Who make the best knives? You need to order that. If it's 400 you spend 400 so you think so 400 I ain't been a 400 no knife I could have bought me I could have got me two pair of J's so I'm just saying like you can't spend 400 to save your life that 400 can get you out of the jam even with the guns right when y'all buy guns yeah y'all go get y'all permits and everything but y'all go get the smallest gun the uh, uh the cheapest gun y'all go get a high point or a little cheap Ruger you know what I'm saying cause you trying to get the gun you trying to keep a budget in 350, 400 you'll spend 600 or a thousand dollars a three grand or four grand or 600 on your hair you'll spend 200 on your nails but you only try to spend 350 275 maybe you know what i'm saying 380 or maybe 400 on the gun that's pushing it 400 that's pushing it you ain't spending no 400 you're really trying to spend about three you really want one of the guys to give you some money on the gun or just buy the whole gun for you you know what i'm saying and then you're not gonna get the right kind of gun or the right kind of caliber and then you'll only just get one gun you see what I'm saying? You can't do that. Why shouldn't you just get one gun, ladies? Because you got to understand, if you get into a situation and, you know, say you just get into a situation where some shots get let off and then you didn't leave the scene before the police came because you got to register the gun. They'll take your gun for investigation. You see what I'm saying? Now you don't got no gun. See, with the devil, he can give you different type of tests in life. You see what I'm saying? So he can give you little pop quizzes. You know what I'm saying? You ever walk in the classroom and it's a pop quiz on the overhead? Yeah, the devil Satan give you that too. So you might put you in one situation where you might fall out with a female and have to, you know, let off a couple shots. Two couple females might jump you or try to jump you because they hating on you. They hate on the chick like Mercedes. She red, light skinned, thick, means of follow. So chicks will try to jump her, try to mess her face up, mess her body up. So you might get in a situation where you had let off a couple shots in the air or shoot at them and the police take your gun. Now you don't got no gun. And a real test finna come. That's when Ted Bunny finna come. That's when Buddy like that Miss Mercedes face finna come. Now you don't got no weapon. So you always wanna buy two or three different guns, not just one. You see what I'm saying? Even with the calibers, you want, you know what I'm saying, nine millimeter, you want, that's for like, if something really bad happened, like Purge or Doomsday, cause a nine millimeter, ladies, uh, you can always find that ammo. If everybody rushed to go buy ammo, the nine ammo will stay on the shelf the longest because that's the most popular handgun caliber in America. So you'll find that even if it was sold out, say it was a purge or chaos, you know, people laid out on the ground dead with guns on the side, nine times out of 10, you'll find a nine, you'll find extra shells just laying on the ground, other people, houses, and you know, that's how, you know, smart people, people prepare for doomsday think. That's how you gotta think. Then you get your 40, a 40 better for accuracy. You see what I'm saying? Cause you know, say you gotta shoot out with somebody across the street from you or got some distance, you know, bullets curve. Bullets don't stay straight. It curved. The wind, it could be, you could be in a windy city and the bullets curve. Yeah. 
you women, y'all can't aim on y'all guns. Y'all can't aim like that good. Y'all be going to the range, but it's still in real life, it's different. It ain't like how it is at the range. In real life, people shoot back at you. So get your red beam, get your infrared dot. Spend you about three or four hundred again on the infrared dot. Some of y'all escorts, you can't get butt in no head for a couple hundred dollars and go get your infrared beam. You see what I'm saying? You can't do that. You can't, you're already bending over for restaurants and uh, uh, bags and shoes and trips. Go ahead, bend over for a couple pistols. Take that money that you get off that and go buy you, you know what I'm saying? Educate your brain first, learn your laws. Don't just get all these weapons. Learn your laws in your city or your state. You know what I'm saying? You can take classes. You might take the class twice because you want to learn the law, not to get the uh, CCW twice, but just to, yeah, get the information twice. When y'all out shopping and walking around, walking through parks and stuff like that, always pay attention who looking at you. When you're walking through parking lots and you see people sitting in the car, look at them. Don't be looking in your phone. Always, you know, when you're walking inside of a mall or coming out the mall or coming, walking to a park or going to a restaurant, don't never have your phone out looking in your phone. If you're talking on the phone to somebody, better call them back or get you a Bluetooth, get you a little earpiece things so your hands can always stay free. Never have both of your hands full. When y'all bringing groceries inside of the house, this for like stalker situations. When you pull up, especially if you don't got no man, and especially if you don't got no garage, and you living in apartments, it don't matter if you got a gated community. When you pull up, you got a, you know what I'm saying, you got kids in the back, and y'all just went, came back from uh, grocery shopping at Walmart, you got your food stamps, or you might be in a better situation where you can just pay it, right? Never, when you come home, you got your kids late night, it might be about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, coming home from the grocery store after work, probably left the gym and everything, pick the kids up from daycare and all that dope, school, right? When you come, go ahead and let the kids get out. Go ahead and have your gun either pulled out in your hand. It's not against the law. You're not a convicted felon. It's not against the law that pull your gun out. It's just against the law when you start pointing it at people. You know what I'm saying? Dark, late night, you know what I'm saying? Always look around. Never pull in, always back in so you can see what's in front of you. You don't never got to turn because you got to think every second count. So if somebody trying to attack you, if you pulled in apartment complex or your house, you pulled in, uh, even if you got a driveway, back in. You see what I'm saying? Because if you pull in, somebody coming behind you, it's going to still take you about two or three seconds, four seconds to turn around and up your pistol and shoot. And you got to aim right. By that time, somebody like me, I'm, I'm on you. I'm already blasting and shooting at you. If it's a hit or if I don't know what I'm saying, but if I'm trying to attack you, I'm still on you because you're going to have your hand, you're going to have a phone in one hand. You know what I'm saying? You might have a blunt if you smoke. You might have went to the liquor store. You might have a bottle in your hand. So when you pull up to the house, leave all the groceries in the car. You know what I'm saying? Get your kids out. If you got kids, get your kids out. Go ahead and unlock the door. If you got little small babies, you know what I'm saying? Even leave your pocketbook in the car. They can have that wallet and that credit card. All you need is your weapon and your small baby. You see what I'm saying? The other kids, they sleep, wake them up, make them walk. Don't still pick them up and they old enough to walk just because they sleep. Wake them up. You need your hands free. You see what I'm saying? Never walk with both of your hands full. Stop doing that. You know what I'm saying? You already got to carry purses and stuff. If you were smart, you had a purse to go across your chest. That way both of your hands, your shoulder, one of your shoulders ain't hurting, ain't too heavy. And both of your hands, you can, for fighting in all types of different situations. Another thing y'all need to get too, some brass knuckles. Stop just getting tasers. That stuff don't work. I can get full of that hair on and my body get numbed up. And I only feel that taser. You see what I'm saying? I only feel all that uh, the pepper spray stuff. You get pepper spray and all that stuff. That's cool for certain situations for a dog or something. But yeah, if I'm on that dog food, you know what I'm saying? And the reason why I choose the dog food because it slows my heartbeat down. So when I'm in tour with one of the ones, one of them, yeah, one of them demons, and he gun me down, you know what I'm saying? He hit me about four or five times. My heart ain't pumping out. And my heart ain't beeping as much, so the blood ain't flowing out. So that's why I sniff that. Or I might mix a little coat with the boy. Not saying I do that, but that's why I would do that if I was, you know what I'm saying, in that world. Or that's why some of them do that. Some just, you know, they love the high. You know what I'm saying? They love that scratch. You know what I'm saying? It'd be a good scratch. But others do it for what I just said. Don't say it sound crazy and don't listen to the message. Just, I'm putting you in the mind of a psychopath. I'm putting you in the mind of a monster and a demon when they're trying to attack a female. When they're trying to attack, you know what I'm saying? Harass a female. So understand. So the reason why you don't want to be on the phone talking to somebody when you go into the house, leaving out the house and going inside of a mall because you want to hear, you listening for sounds. You got them things in your ear. You need to be hearing footsteps, conversations, different type of noises that don't sound like they come from an animal. Yeah, they give you hints. They give you more seconds to get prepared. Okay, so when you pull up to the house and you put your groceries in, 
first you put your kids inside the house and then you lock the door right then you go back for the groceries right then you go back and then with the kids in their safe the door lock when you taking the groceries from the car back to the house leave it in front of the door just lay it out in front of the door the other kids your older kids they can help you bring the groceries in you see what i'm saying you just bring it to the door you're going back and forth understand i know it's a lot but you got to do that when you're a boss when you're single you're a single mother you want to live now if you don't if you got a garage then you can kind of you know what i'm saying you can pull into the you can back into the garage and you can shut the garage you see what i'm saying when you back up to the garage and you as you shut in the garage have your gun close by you when y'all carrying guns don't be having the gun all the way in your pocketbook that's too that take too many seconds to reach when somebody's stalking you and watching you learning your schedule they'll know how much the time frame they do all that stuff they only focusing on you so yeah you ain't got them extra seconds you think you're gonna have all that time or however the movie play out it don't play out like that in real life in real life you know how the scene the dude trip and fall and all that man that don't happen in real life like that you see what i'm saying he's gonna be right up on you sometimes it might even be two to three different guys you see what i'm saying that's why y'all gotta have certain different type of weapons you gotta have the knife the brass knuckles maybe a draco maybe y'all gotta start a fight if dudes carrying big guns y'all need to carry big guns why do y'all think y'all can get to this boss level and flex all these diamonds and these pocketbooks and all this designer stuff that costs money stuff that sell you know what i'm saying and y'all ain't got to defend that y'all got to defend that birkin bag you got to defend that louis bag you got to defend that gucci bag you got to defend that mercedes benz you got to defend that amg jeep you got to defend that mclaren that lambo that jury you got to defend that mansion you living in you got to defend your babies your kids yourself Another thing y'all women got to start doing when y'all watching these TV shows and these movies on these serial killers on these scary movies You got to start watching and paying attention to the females who escape When you watch a Ted Bundy interview when you watch an Ed Glenn when you watch the uh, killer clown when you watch yeah uh, uh, Wayne Gacy and all of them when you watch their interviews and they always say the one they got away You got to pay attention to the details on how why they let her go What they do how you get out of certain situations with serial killers and stalkers when you're in the car with them? It, it might be two or three of them in the car. You own the female in the car in the back seat, and they ride out on a trip. Joy ride. He said, we're going on a trip. He been cool before, so you'll get in the car with him. Not only y'all got to focus on when we lace your blunt, when me and lace your, uh, when I say we, I'm saying men. I ain't saying me. I'm saying like men. When me and lace your blunt, when men put stuff in your drink, you got to deal with that. You got to worry about that too. So you got to be a female that ain't it's always best to tell the dude you know what i'm saying you smoke your own blunts talk like the rappers talk if you smoke weed don't don't hit his blunt unless that's your man you know what i'm saying that's your you know he ain't gonna you know what i'm saying he ain't on that type of time y'all might fall out but not on no stalking raping killing type it might just be a regular argument you know what i'm saying not nothing too crazy but other than that still be on the safe side yeah talk that boss talk nah I don't, we don't pass blunts i, I roll your own if I got to give you a gram, roll your own blunt. You might have to go in your weed sack. You might be rocking with a dude that you just walk with him because his sex game strong. But he ain't really getting no money like that. And he got good energy. And he can protect you. You know what I'm saying? Situations like that. So you might still rock with him. Or, you know, give him some every blue moon. Yeah, you might have to give him a gram or two out your weed sack just so he can smoke his own blunt. So you ain't got to worry about him lacing your blunt. Yeah, y'all going to the liquor store. Yeah, tell him if he drinking that, you want something else. You buy your own bottle. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to share no bottles. You, and you drink out the bottle. You don't pour in cups. When you're around new guys, you drink out the bottle. You need a whole bottle. Tell them, make them buy you a whole bottle. You need to, yeah, you need to get these safety tips down. Understand? That's why you need to subscribe to the channel. Cause I can give you the game. That's why I'm going to look at the comments on this video right here. If I see females really liking this right here, then I keep making the videos. If not, I just keep focusing on rappers. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, you need to be drinking your own bottles, smoking your own blunts, all that duh. You might have to buy the dude a bottle. And you might, or you might have to buy your own bottle, whatever, whatever can save your life, save you from getting passed out. When you with men, especially new guys leaving from the club, you are already about tipsy or drunk when you left the club. You new dude, why would you? Nah, you gotta make sure you don't put yourself in certain situations. Don't get yourself too drunk where you can't think. That's why the alcohol is real dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Cause it make you get out your mind, it make you, you know what I'm saying, pass out. So it's really not that hard. You know what I'm saying? You be getting fed drinks all night. So why would the, if you already about done, why would you then go with a stranger? You know what I'm saying? That you don't know. 
Now I can see you going with Buddy. He already to punish you, or you know him from the neighborhood. Y'all cool like that. He ain't really on it. He just a player. He just one of the ones. That's different. You know what I'm saying? He a legend. Just like how you a legend, like Mercedes. She a legend in her world. In the IG model world, she a legend in that. So, yeah, y'all, it's just two legends rocking with each other. So you ain't got to worry about them. And you don't know them type of guys. You'll, you'll feel the energy. When you get in the car with somebody, especially if it's multiple people, always get in the back seat. The person in the back seat got the most advantage. You know what I'm saying? So if you got that knife on you, like I told you, you need to go by. Or you got that gun on, you can easily blow his brains out and exit the door. And leave him right there with the horn blowing. That's how you know he did or he hurt the horn blowing. He can't move. Now, after y'all get y'all weapons and stuff like that, then you get the extra stuff that can cover you, that can save you, that can help you out in situations. Like with her in that apartment, she's supposed to have a dog. She's single. You know what I'm saying? She's doing a thing. She's supposed to have a dog and let him run loose. Don't put him up and let him run loose. Don't have no little nice little expensive dog that don't bite, that don't grow. No, you need one of them real sturdy dogs that's going to attack, that's going to kill, that's going to protect you. Then you can get the cute one. You know what I'm saying? Just train the dog not to, and hope the dog don't attack that one. But you need one, one of them sturdy ones, the ones that everybody respect. They got a little fear, you know what I'm saying, with the dog. They got a little fear in the dog, you know what I'm saying? They scared of the name. They hear a certain name, you got this certain kind of dog, he got this name, you know, they put a little fear in them. Even get a big, huge dog. Stop trying to get all them small dogs. Get a big, huge one. And one that a man know if this dog jump on him, he'll fall. You see what I'm saying? Get Make him have to hurt the dog. The dog barking, they can alert neighbors. Make people, you know what I'm saying? Where that barking coming from? Why that? Why he just barking like that? You see what I'm saying? Why he going crazy like that? After that, of course you get your cameras and stuff like that and your alarm system and stuff like that. When y'all getting alarms for your house, get the alarm system where you can control everything from your phone. Try to find one that you can unlock the door with your phone. That way when you come home with the groceries and everything, you know, you can just hit a button on your phone or your tablet and it'll unlock. You might have to change your whole lock system. Understand, get the ones where you can control, turn your house into a smart house. Pay that, if it's $100, $150, $200 a month, pay that. You know, uh, if you got a business, if you got a uh, LLC and you operate at your house, it's a tax write-off. You see what I'm saying? Call your CPA, ask them, is that a tax write-off? You know what I'm saying? Security for the house, that's a tax write-off. You doing business at the house. So yeah, you can make, you can't make the whole house, you know, a tax write-off, but say you got a business address, say you live there and it's a business address, you can write off one room that you got your business office in, including the uh, alarm system and stuff like that, security system, let alone if you got a whole, if you can write the whole lease, you know what I'm saying, you got a whole apartment complex just for business, you put it in your LLC name because you done built your credit up, that's another thing, that's another reason why y'all should build your credit, put the uh, apartment in your business name instead of putting it in your real name. And another thing y'all females gotta watch out. Let me tell you, put your bone game that stalkers will do too. Understand? I can, you know, say if I like Miss, if I got a fetish for Miss Mercedes, right? Say I see her at a store or the mall or something like that. I see the car she drive or I see where she live at. I find out where she live at. You see what I'm saying? Cause y'all flex with y'all cars and stuff. So it ain't hard, you know, then y'all do special things to y'all car. Y'all put special wraps on them. Trying to keep up, trying to look like the rappers and the dope boys and stuff like that. You got a pink, Uris, I find the pink Uris, you know what I'm saying? There you go. Then if I'm a psychopath, I keep psychopath items in my car. I keep trackers. I order trackers online. I go in the store, get trackers, get the ones that, you know, I can stick under your car and don't trigger your alarm system. You know what I'm saying? I can pay a junkie. If I don't want to get seen on camera, I can pay a junkie to do it. I like he, you know, tying his shoe or doing something or just get, or uh, see how the camera angle, you know what I'm saying, is go First, I go to your apartment place, case out the place, see where all the cameras at. That's the, all I'm doing that day, just seeing where the cameras at, placing it. I ain't sitting for too long. Don't try to seem like I'm up to something so I don't get out. I just, you know, park at a certain spot and, you know, look at it, see where the camera's at. You know what I'm saying? Then I dip. Don't really cause no scene. And then the next day, I look for something else. Look, I look at your schedule, see when you're coming in and out. Then the next, you know, I look at people, my well, other people, your neighbors, when they at home, when they watching, when they looking outside, they blind, stuff like that. This is what psychopaths do, especially the ones that want to be successful and stay on the streets. You see what I'm saying? Why you think when they get caught, they be like, I've been doing it for 30 years. I've been killing women and doing all this for 20 years, 10 years. I couldn't stop. And he couldn't be caught. They mean they smart. They mean they do their homework. They do, yeah. Then they put it in work. And I already know it's going to be a lot of females in the comments going to say, why you keep saying escort or 
she was a prostitute or she was a city girl. I knew her. She wasn't like that. See, that's y'all problem right there. Y'all only care about what y'all think. It ain't about what y'all think. Y'all playing defense. The attacker playing offense. So it's about what the attacker think, what the psychopath think. If the psychopath think you're an escort, you're a prostitute, or you're a city girl, you know what it is. He's going to approach you like that. He's going to stalk you like that. He's going to, yeah, see if he can spend something with you like that. Yeah, so until you be like, nah, I ain't with none of that, or you tell him you with it or you ain't, then he can think different. But he's still going to think how he feel about you. You see what I'm saying? If he can't get what he want, if he can't control his emotions, he's going to act out like Buddy did. Because you got, for the fellas, you got the trap doors, the drill doors, and doors like that. You got the spicy doors. But for y'all, you know, y'all got the IG model door, the escort door. They all fall in the same field, the same category. So whether you an IG model and you're not selling your body, you still, a lot of men gonna still look at you like that because you're doing all the other stuff they do. So how would we not think that you like that? Or we'll put that in our mind. A lot of guys will, not all, but a lot of guys, especially the sick guys, you know what I'm saying? And with the sick guys, they come in all different type of faces. Yeah, the devil, one thing about Satan, he got all different type of faces. So if you're trying to, if you trying to shy away from the street guy, because you think he gonna be the one that, you know, finesse you, you know, y'all get in the room, y'all get cool, and you know, you giving him his service or whatever, whether it be pictures, whether it be some your know, sexual favors, whether it be, you know, uh, a FaceTime type joint, you know, uh, you think if you meet up with him eventually, He'll pull his gun out after he get what he want and then he'll rob you and all that death. So you try to avoid them and you would then mess with the white guys or the Migo guy or the Asian guy because you think they, they face don't say anger. They face don't say, ah, yeah, step over you. So you think they're easy lick. You think they're easy finesse. And in some cases they are. So once you get through five of them, 10 of them, 15 of them, you'll think all of them pretty much like that. You know what I'm saying? Still a man, but guys like them, they be in their feelings. Yeah, they really be evil inside, but they hide it with lust. So they lust over you first. And if they can't get what they want, then the evil part of them, the demon part. You know, you got different type of demon energy. You got the, you know, drill kind of demon energy. Then you got the Ted Bundy, Jeffrey Dahmer, uh, Gacy, Ed Glenn, the BTK killer. You got them, them different type of demons. Then the demons that y'all are running to. You know, guys like me or other guys that look like me, we're running to the drill type of demons if you choose that door. Y'all are running to the Ted Bunny type of demons. And you got the stalkers. You know what I'm saying? You got the scary, you got the real sturdy, like you got the real evil type of Ted Bunny type of guys that are like he wouldn't have killed himself. Like a real Ted Bunny type of guy, he wouldn't have killed himself. He would have just went to the next person. Then you got the more weaker kind. You got the ones that they got more lust in them. You know what I'm saying? Over evil. So they you know, you might have been his first body. You see what I'm saying? He ain't know what to do. Cause whatever service you gave him, cause it could be, we don't know which way it could be. He could be a stalker or he could be somebody you were just finessing. You see what I'm saying? So whether, you know, he got in his feelings, you know, you might have served him some, uh, uh, you might gave him a show, a massage or whatever. Or it could have been like a Nick Cannon, love don't cost a thing type of situation. And he ain't really get all the service that he thought he was gonna get, and he spent a lot of money. He probably gave you five thousand, ten thousand, fifteen thousand, twenty thousand. You know what I'm saying? Thirty thousand, fifty thousand. It probably went up over time. You know what I'm saying? He been sending you money. He finally he sent you enough money where he can meet up with you. You know what I'm saying? You felt safe. You know what I'm saying? He never said nothing out the way to make you feel uncomfortable. He always kept it sturdy with you. You know what I'm saying? To make you not think he weird. You ain't never filed no restraint order on him. They ain't say you ain't, yeah, it's, it's enough time for it to say, uh, if you had a restraint order on it wasn't no forced entry in the, uh, apartments. You know what I'm saying? So, a stalker, huh? It can be, but it can't just be any kind of stalker. It gotta be a stalker that can get through them gates. You know what I'm saying? Even though with a gate, you know, you run through it, like somebody going in the gate, and then you, you hurry up and try to get past the gate, it'll open back up. You see what I'm saying? Even though you got them type of situations, but, you know, he didn't look suspicious to nobody. Um, I still ain't heard nobody say they ain't never seen him over there before. You see what I'm saying? So, um, it had to be a situation. Ain't nobody hear no screaming. Ain't nobody. So, it had to be a situation where you felt comfortable. And you let your guards down because the female rappers and the other leaders for the females don't tell you to keep your guards up. Even though you got cool with the guy and the guy in the house. You're already not strong enough physical wise. So, you can't afford to let your guards down. A man can a little bit. 
Especially if the dude don't got a weapon because he still can beat him up. He still can give him a good fight. You see what I'm saying? So he can let his guard down. Like it was a victim with Jeffrey Dahmer. It was a dude that Jeffrey Dahmer lured to the house. You know what I'm saying? And you know, he got him high, put something in his bill. You know what I'm saying? How you do the other victims. But this dude, he can wrestle with good. He been he won uh wrestling championships. And Jeffrey Dahmer tried to grab him and the dude got to his senses and Jeffrey Dahmer put him in a lock from behind and the dude Jeffrey Dahmer ain't know that the dude know how to wrestle real good. He win championships and everything. Dude flipped him and about stringing him to death, but he let him go. You know what I'm saying? So a man can still let his guard down and still come up about the situation a lot of times, sometimes. You see what I'm saying? But you, you can't because he don't really need no gun. He can come in there like he don't need to uh, cause nothing with a loud scene. It's a lot of different ways. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to think, the type of demons that, the type of customers that you got, you bring a lot of evil type of customers, a lot of different type of dark energy type of customers. You know, a lot of weirdos, a lot of, yeah, all that come with that. A lot of guys that lust. You see what I'm saying? A lot of sturdy guys not going to really try to get in touch with you like that because they already see what you're about. So guys like a real sturdy guy, real alpha males, they know women like you are coming to them off the rip. You know what I'm saying? All they got to do is see you or you see them or whatever how it go. But other guys like who you came across, you know, these are the ones that will stock your page. These are the ones that will pray when OnlyFans come out, when they introduce everything, they pray that you start one. These are the guys that will pay 5000 to see your breasts, just to see your breasts. Or he'll pay you $100 a week to see your toes, just for he got a foot fetish. These are the guys that, yeah, every morning when he wake up, he don't check the news, he check your page. You see what I'm saying? He put the notification thing on a IG. If you got a YouTube, he put, yeah, he keep tabs with you. A lot of the righteous energy not gonna pay for your services. They already got good women at the house. They might even got a city girl they accept at the house. So they don't really gotta, you know, just lust over your page. If they, they might follow you, you know what I'm saying? This is the other half of your uh 2.5 million followers or even higher right now. The other half, they just follow you because you got a nice body and they just like a picture. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna never try to go in your DM like that. Or if they do, they might shoot their shot one time. If you don't bite on it, it's all love, love, love. They on to the next. You see what I'm saying? But the other ones, they're going to keep trying. They're going to keep trying. They're going to, if you got, say you sell something, they got so many different tricks to get in the door, to get you to respond, to get to interact with you. So say you selling merch, cups, t-shirts, bras, or anything, a real stalker buy your whole merch, your whole t-shirt catalog, everything you got, it'll force you to respond to him because he sold you so much love. And he's saying something that'll, you know, touch your spirit. And he really spending money with you. You see what I'm saying? So you will then interact back with him. You see one person bought everything you got. It might not be the whole website, but it's one item, the whole thing. And he always do it all the time. That's just another way to get in the door. It's a more guaranteed way to get in the door, to get the interaction. Because a dude can send you a cash out, right? Or a dude can say something real nice to you, right? And you still might not give him a response. You just got a good free cash out. But if a dude really spend his money with you for buying your merch, Cause it's making your uh, website, your brand look good because it's selling out. So they make other people want to buy it. You'll then respond to him versus he just, you know, doing it the regular way. So it's all different type of, you know, tests in the dark web world, in the dark energy world to get girls like you. Whether it's just to get you in the hotel with me where I can have sex with you, then kill you. Or I just want to be around you, be around your energy. Or I really like you for real. And I'm really trying to, you know, be your man. It's all different type of fetishes and dreams. But the difference between when y'all lust and y'all fetishes, it just be that. But when the dark energy on the male side, when the wicked man had fetishes and he lust and he didn't get to interact with the person who he had the fetishes over and things don't go his way or things ain't going like how it's supposed to be, then it could turn violent. Especially if you're a type of person that he know that you don't know how to defend yourself right. Every time y'all have a conversation, you don't never talk about guns. You don't never talk about defending yourself. You don't never show them that you be on point. So it's all easy. The only thing he got, the only type of mission he got to beat is to get you to let him come over, to get you to send an address. See, where a lot of you IG models fail at, you think just because y'all not in gangs or y'all not setting up certain dudes or y'all not selling drugs or Y'all not, you know, scamming as far as like with the credit cards where somebody just want to just come back and kill you. You think you no know, devilish things supposed to happen to you. you no know, evil things supposed to happen to you. But nah, you got your cons. You got the stuff that can, you know, the bad side on your things that you do can happen to you. But nah, you got your evil missions that come your way that you got to pass too. Like why y'all IG models and escorts and city girls. When I say city girls, I don't mean like just young Miami and JT. I'm just talking about a city girl, right? Why y'all don't have security? Why y'all don't have y'all steppers? You think y'all don't need them? Like you think y'all ain't gonna be tested? 
by Satan. Yeah, you think uh, he don't got no soldiers that can fit, that can, you know, get in your room with you, that can get in your space, that can get in that good energy that you swear you be manifesting and you be uh, doing, uh, you be meditating and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? You swear you can't, and then you block it all out. But no, that ain't how the will works. It sounds good when you put it in your head. I block all evil spirits. I block all the evil energy. I, I just stay away from it. There's no way that you can stay away from it. You can avoid some of it, but there's no way that you can avoid it 100%. Because uh, right now in the New World Order, evil run land. We're still under God rules, but evil run the land. You know what I'm saying? That's why they can... You know, uh, get people to switch and flip and come on the evil side because they run the land. They can, they can give you everything, the best that the land can offer, as far as cars, the lifestyle, the money and stuff like that. Power, yeah, Satan, yeah, he can give you the best of that. You see what I'm saying? He can make you feel like you don't got to worry about after life. You know what I'm saying? You just worry about now. You dead, so it don't matter if your soul burn. It don't matter if your soul don't burn. Like you dead, so right now, while you living, while you a human and you on land, get money. But get money my way Think evil Mercedes Satan understood That you was a nice girl That you had a lot of respect And you had a lot of good energy And you just wanted the money But unfortunately You know In his army In his world Because you was getting Some of his money From his world That what you was doing Wasn't holy you know, Jesus wouldn't have told you To do that Allah wouldn't have told you To do that Buddha wouldn't have told you To post some type of pictures So you're getting Satan type of money And you're dealing with Satan type of customers So Therefore, we got to throw you a little curveball. You so say you was getting a lot of straight balls in the baseball game. So you were playing the baseball game. You was getting a lot of straight balls thrown towards you. You was hitting them. You was hitting them. That's when you was you was hitting them too. You was at fifty thousand followers. Then you went to a hundred thousand, and two hundred thousand, three hundred, five hundred thousand, eight hundred. Then you hit that million. Then you did another M. You see what I'm saying? So you was hitting them balls. You was knocking them out of the park. But he had to throw a little curve on it. And this curve, this was a little uh, saw game curve. Yeah, put you in the salt game. Can you get out of one of these type of... Yes, yeah, so since you're a nice girl, we just send a nice demon at you. We just send a nice demon that got a nice, you know, outside, nice energy on the outside, you know, teeth straight, you know, decent guy spend money with you, nice conversation. One of them type of demons. But in the inside, you know, when his feelings get involved, he got dark energy. You see what I'm saying? He loves you so much, he loves you so much that he'd rather die and kill you than then to see you with somebody else. Or even just to see you with nobody, just to see you single, that'll kill him. That'll hurt him. He want to kill you for that. You were just probably trying to be his friend with benefits, and it only had to really be sex part. It could just be all the other stuff before sex. You see what I'm saying? Whether y'all just chilling, you know, you might look cute for him. You know, conversation be good. You know what I'm saying? Make you laugh and stuff like that. You know, cool guy. He might fix on something at your house. And I'm telling what type of guy this was. You see what I'm saying? He might give you a certain type of information. But you don't see him like you want to be with him. You know what I'm saying? You probably even slipped up and kissed him one time or gave him a certain smile to let him on. And once he feel like he done spent so much money or done so much and gave so much, invested in so much of his time in you and he ain't getting the right proper results from it, yeah, that's when that Ted Bundy brain pop up and it's the thoughts, the Ted Bundy thoughts pop in his head and like, yeah, I got to act on that. He done watched a thousand serial killer uh, interviews and movies and stuff. Pretty much know what he want to do. You see what I'm saying? He just don't want to go to prison for life and deal with that. He don't want to deal with that because who you are is too popular. That's what'll make a guy like him kill himself. You see what I'm saying? Because you was too popular. If you was a regular chick, he would probably want to kill himself. Just went on to the next girl. But since you're so popular and then he feel like when he go to prison, he gonna run into a lot of issues or whatever type of uh, uh, demons he dealing with or fears he dealing with, he don't want to face that. You know, because he know the police gonna really look into the case. They ain't gonna let up because who you is. Especially if a lot of people like you. Like, I ain't heard nothing bad about you yet. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, he already knew what it was. You know what I'm saying? He thought about it, so he made a decision. Like, you know, I, it's still worth, like, Mercedes, you was worth him killing you and killing himself. You was that special to him. You was, yeah, you was worth everything to him. Even his own life. He don't even want to live on this earth. If you gone, he want to be gone. He want to die with you. That's how bad he want to, yeah, he want to die with you. Whether it's, uh, through natural causes, cause y'all was married and y'all just been together, y'all grew old, or is it through violence, domestic violence, or just serial killer type violence, or stalking type violence? Either way, he wanna make you happy, or he wanna kill you, or die with you. Either way, but you can't be alone, or you can't move on. Nah, not as long as you're at this level where I can touch you and grab you. You see what I'm saying? Cause all you had to do is really get to a certain level, or live in a certain area, and he would, or had a certain type of people around you, and 
you could easily erase him. He would have went away. A certain type of guy would have been over there. You know what I'm saying? Because if he was a stalker, all you had to do, like, was keep a sturdy guy in there with you. And when he pop up, since he's a stalker, and then the guy just hound him. And whether he put a gun to his face or he just beat him to death. You know what I'm saying? Meaning knock him out and all that death. Put fear on him where he don't come back no more. Once he would have seen you had a man, he would have stopped coming around. Because the man would apply pressure, especially somebody like you. Don't let you grab one of them street guys or the ones that was in the streets and now he might do a construction or he might be a rapper or he might be a trucker or he might be a scammer or something I'm saying. He was, when I say street, I'm talking about he was more like on the putting in work side. You know, let it be one of them. You really uh, push him away. Understand? But it could have been a lot of different situations that happened in this case right here. If she could have had a stalker, right? She could have had a regular dude that she was meeting up with and he just flipped on her and he strangled her to death because he didn't get what he wanted out of the situation. Or it could have been a hit, right? It could have been, this could have been the guy that slipped through the cracks. He slipped through the gates. You know how to get to them gates. You know how to, you know, pull up a car and let the gate open right back up. So it don't matter if you got the closed in gated community. So you slip, he been watching you, you've been stalking you on that side. There's different type of stalkers. You got one stalker that'll stalk you because he lusting over you and he wanna be with you and have sex with you and he got, you know, sexual desires. Then you got the other stalkers that been paid from certain guys that you finesse and she thought you got away with and he know a guy that's in your area. You know what I'm saying? They be around the area that you be in, he got the drop on your locations and everything. And he played you and they sent him through your DM, been spending money with you, and bought all your merch, and you thinking it's all good, and he find out where you be at, or you been talking to him, or he just find out where you be at, he crept up on you, been watching you for days, and he slid when you had your door unlocked, you probably went and took out your trash, or you know, you uh uh left the back door unlocked, or however it's set up, or you were just coming in and he just pushed you in so it don't look like you was forced in. It's a lot of different ways he just came in there and strangled you. And when, after they do the test, they see he ain't had sex with you because that wasn't the mission. He ain't had sex with you. He ain't kissed you, none of that. The mission was to get in there, you know what I'm saying? And he might have put a gun on you, but then fired and just made you lay down. He just strangled you to death or however them uh, weirdos be doing. They victims. You know what I'm saying? It could have been a situation like that. It's not necessarily the dude just stalking you because he was lusting and wanted to be with you or y'all had a relationship. You could, it could have been a hit put on your head because you finessed old buddy for 10 bands. And you just sent him some pictures. He thought he was going to get some action, but you just sent him a picture in a live video or a video you recorded, a pre-recorded video that you just sent to a lot of other guys that had them type of fetishes. And they weren't going for that. They was connected to a big dog or they was connected to somebody that got another 10 stacks or 20 stacks to put on your head for to send one of them demons at you to, to execute you out of here. You know what I'm saying? And they did it, you know, the different way from the street guy. You know what I'm saying? The street guy would have gunned you down. They would just caught you at a red light, caught you at the gas station, the gun you down. They did it more sloppy. This guy did it more like, try, I'm trying to get away with it, but he still killed himself. So that further let me know that it wasn't the guy that was paid for a hit because he, he wouldn't he have killed himself because you ain't know him. So it's hard to see. When the dude killed himself, it further let people know that he must have knew you or he knew he probably can get caught or he knew something was going to go wrong in the situation. You know what I'm saying? But it could still be that. So I don't know why he, you know, uh, would kill himself if he got paid for a hit. So, you know, the detectives, they're going to do their job and the news going to put out bits and bits and pieces. But if it really was a home invasion type of that went wrong, they would have said forced entry already. They would have said they would put that in there. But if it was a home invasion type of situation where a stalker came, he broke in your house and he raped you and killed you, they would have said that. They would have seen the force entry. They would have seen the house being destroyed or the apartment being destroyed. The apartment wasn't destroyed, so he wasn't trying to steal nothing. He just wanted you. You see what I'm saying? Was he so fanned out that, you know, once he finally got to see you, he was so nervous, and the only thing he could think of was to strangle you and hurt you. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't really, he knew that you're not his type. He knew, see, he looking at you, he know like, hey, it don't even matter if I get the money, it don't matter what I do, I just, I can't have no girl like this. What I, I do anything just to be in a room with this girl. I do anything, you know what I'm saying, just to put my lips on this girl. Whether she let me put my lips on her with her eyes open and she breathing normal, or I gotta do what I gotta do. But I got to, you know, see what this type of girl feel like. See what it feel like to hold her. See what it feel like to kiss her. See what it feel like to have sex with her. See what it feel like to come inside of her. See what it feel like to grab that booty. See what it feel like to suck on her breast. See what it feel like, yeah, all that there. Whether she dead or alive. 
that's just the dangerous part about being you doing the job that you do with y'all you know you got to deal with still violence and you got to deal with sick people uh or weirdos uh people who got certain type of fetishes different type of demons they got different type of powers see you've been you, you used to the street guy powers what type of powers he got that the, the satan that give him you used to that you can defeat that you grew up looking at that so that don't really feel you like that but you don't want no no issue no static with that but you know how to deal with that you know how to feel comfortable around that and where you don't be nervous and you know what i'm saying it seems like everything normal you used to that you used to being around street guys gang members and stuff like that you ain't seen that but you ain't the type of guy he was you ain't seen that you just seen that on movies you ain't experienced that you don't know what it's like with that you know what it's like to ride in the car in the chevy with the dread head with the gold teeth you know what that's like to ride with the dope boy or the scammer even a pimp but you don't know what it's like to ride with ted bundy you don't know what it's like to ride with jeffrey Dahmer. you don't know what it's like to ride with a real stalker you don't know it you ain't felt that and just like you ain't felt that the leaders for the women that go in that direction throughout life they ain't told you that they ain't put you up on game on that so you kind of like green out here on that like you don't know you ain't gonna know how to deal with that when that problem come because they vet said what they do or they pretty much got their game plan that's all they thinking about you thinking about still getting money with shows and walkthroughs and you know promoting people products and stuff like that you ain't just focusing on weirdos and psychopaths and stuff like that but they just focusing on you and other victims or other girls but like i said once you make a name for yourself and you get some good money you know you gotta put that security budget in your budget you see what i'm saying so uh, apartment apartment like that is not really good for a woman like you because the customers that you got a lot of them is evil more evil than good they just ain't met you they ain't even been in your face yet yeah it's a lot of your fans and out of that 2.5 million followers you got it's a lot of them evil that have done you the same way probably even worse and they wouldn't have killed themselves they wouldn't have done that you know what i'm saying they just would have left you they probably even would have took your body out the uh, apartment complex there's so much into it with your body and they got a fetish so much that yeah even after you dead you know what i'm saying they still don't want to have sex with you you know what i'm saying that's their fetish to have sex with a woman that's dead you know what i'm saying make them feel better they say it's warmer you know what i'm saying that's what a lot of serial killers say so they had them type of fetishes when other potential serial killers listen to that they know you know that's like the pros of being a serial killer like having sex with dead women that's a fetish for them so he might have them type of thoughts even after he killed you if you would have ran into one more wickeder than the one you ran into it could have turned out like that so you're supposed to lease out a bigger house where you can have security in it they got or steppers in it they got more rooms they can watch your back even a manager somebody else there that'll make them feel like okay if i do you like that i gotta find out have a plan where i can get out this door and get you know what i'm saying because you got two more dudes downstairs so if i can't just kill you this the house be big enough where you y'all still can have your own space you see what i'm saying so you might have to you know instead of paying three or four grand or 3500 a month for a year's lamb you might have to pay 3500 a month for a nice big house because you need to put some steppers in there you need to put some extra men in there unless you're gonna have the weapons on you yourself but a woman like you a man could tell you ain't got a gun on you or a weapon on you because how you dress your clothes too fit your clothes too tight or you don't have enough clothes on so a man can see right through that now nah, she don't she don't even talk about it so therefore you need the security or the steppers or the right team around you you can't be alone no more. You're too bad. You too. You know what I'm saying? You're too out there for us like the escort image. In that way bad. Not like uh, Lauren London bad. But you in that escort type of light. That's what, yeah, in the way. Because that's what we see. You ain't on your page. You ain't teach about real estate or how to start an LLC or no type of business. It was so on your body. You see what I'm saying? So that's the type of lane that you was in. Not saying that you was, you know, a prostitute too. You might not have to do that. Just to how you to book you through a show. You get five thousand or three thousand, or a company might pay you um, thousands of dollars to promote this outfit, or to promote this bra, or panties, or makeup, or so. You know, you got them lanes too, but you got that money coming in, and it's cool. But it's still other things that's really expensive that you want that your leaders, that the women that you look up to, or that's in your field got that you need to have so you can draw more guys that spend money with you. Cause that's the only way that you eat. If the men not really into it or a lot of women don't buy into your look or want to be like you then you don't make ig model wouldn't work so you need a lot of guys lusting over you you need you really need that dark energy but you just don't want the problems and the violence that come with it but see it don't work like that see the devil don't nah see the devil ain't mean with the ball 
He ain't gonna just let you like get all the pros, get all the money, and use them, and you don't gotta go through none of these little missions and these little wars. You gotta go through. You might meet a Ted Bundy. You know, a lot of women thought Ted Bundy was attractive, so you show you that side. Nice, charming guy to go on a date with you. He don't seem abnormal. He don't seem weird. You know, teeth straight clean, could dress, with all the nice brands, drive a nice car, got a nice career, he ain't no bum, live in a penthouse. Yeah, oh, oh, you think because he get to that level, he still ain't got no Ted Bunny energy in him? Yeah, you got the ones that you can kind of spotlight, oh yeah, he weird. Then you got the ones that got nice careers and, you know, they like I said, they all come in different type of shapes and sizes, looks and everything. They got, one thing about saying he got every type of character you want, how you want it to look like. You want a guy that, you know, look like he's nice and innocent? You know what I'm saying? Or you want a guy that look, you know, like with something that you used to? A lot of females gonna run into the same type of situation Miss Mercedes just ran into because they leaders don't put up, up on game. They don't want to learn no tactics, no weapon tactics. They don't want to, yeah, they go get their gun permits and they'll get a concealed carry permit and they go to the range. That's it. But they ain't really had no real type of practice. They ain't been through no real situations and they had to use it. Yeah, they go into the range every week, but they ain't been in no shootout, so they don't know what it feel like to have the bullets coming back to them. So when they get in the real thing, they're going to duck. They're not gonna, it ain't going to be like when they at the range, but they don't think it's going to happen like that. Or they think just because they got the gun, it's still going to work their way. So they don't take the time out to learn all that. You know what I'm saying? They don't take, they leaders don't tell them the stories that they got away from. Like they, you know, accomplish the mission they don't explain them stories they don't tell you about the stories about when they was in the foster care or when it was the woman they got to work two or three jobs to take care of kids and live a certain lifestyle she got to work three jobs just to you know because she caught up in the fashion just to for her kids to wear jordans and she keep up with jordans so she working hard just to pay michael jordan and the card notes and all that stuff. they don't talk about the stories that the ones that you know uh been in abusive relationships they don't talk about the ones where she had to go to prison for five years because the department was in her name and the nigga was selling dope and he blamed it on her and he told her it was hers and it wasn't his and he ain't selling no money. He, yeah, they don't talk about, they don't even talk about when uh when they get their IRS money and they give the money to their boyfriend, he jumped the fence on them. They don't even talk about that. They don't put you on game on none of that. They don't even give praise to their mama. They don't got no mama songs. There ain't no female rappers that's in the generation right now got no mama song, no daddy song. One thing about the male rappers, yeah, we cap too on some stuff, but we tell the truth on a lot of things. We tell the good side and the bad side from any, every type of situation. We got songs for everything. A lot of female rappers, you know, they don't have them type of songs. We got no songs where we was in foster care and we had to fight and, we, and dudes, you know what I'm saying, try to jump us in prison. We even tell you about the rape part that you could deal with in prison and how to get from that situation and what can come after that situation. What Max say from No Limit, and I'm dealing with these life or some of these niggas find me attractive and be trying to bend me over backwards with bitch it ain't happening years add on every enemy I shank penitentiary ain't what you think he just told you step by step a potential victim situation that he got through he say he dealing with these lifers you know what I'm saying some of them find them attractive and be trying to bend them over backwards but it ain't happening now the years gonna add on you gonna get more prison time if you shank them Penitentiary ain't what you think. So he giving you the game. Y'all don't tell stories like that in y'all songs. Like y'all don't go through situations like that in a different type of form. Y'all don't have no stories. What a rap song where the girl ride with the dude and she ride with, in the car with a couple of dudes and he take her in a different path in a different way where she ain't used to and this dark outside and they smoking and stuff. Then they yeah just start beating on her and rape her. Or they about to rape her or she before they can rape her and she catch on what's finna happen and then she gotta do what she gotta do to get out of the situation. Y'all don't even make up the story. Y'all got the talent to make up stories. Y'all don't even make up the story and put it together and give the women some game and make it your your uh, single that you're putting out. Like how Eve put Love Is Blind her single. Don't make don't have a song just throwing on a mixtape or just throwing on the album. No, make it your single where everybody can hear. It. Oh, but that's right. How the music industry set up and the image that they pushing. You know, a song like that. You push that for your single, especially you know, uh, it's your time. You on a label where there's a lot of all star artists. You know what I'm saying? It's your time. It's your quarter of the month to you know put your album out and put your songs out and you want to go number one and beat all the other competition. You don't want to put no Love Is Blind type song out because you know they ain't gonna do good like the Real Lady Give Up by the Nigga Big Break. You know they ain't gonna do yeah they ain't gonna do good like that. Yeah, you try to come out with Love Is Blind that worked for E back then, but try to put one out now. So you don't want to take that risk, especially if you're not an A-list plus artist where you've been getting over a hundred thousand a show or over a hundred thousand a feature and you getting a million dollars per venue. If you're not an artist like that, you're a D-level, C-level type artist, 
Yeah, you ain't gonna make no song like that. And by female artists not doing that, R&B singles, the rappers, the movie stars, the actresses, all them, no women, no type of category. By them, they got a voice that's a leader. They can, you know, uh, that make the uh, females in the hoods and the projects and the girls like that that's coming up from them type of areas that are listen to. You know what I'm saying? Because if Beyonce make a city girl type of song, Beyonce ain't gonna go through the type of same demon missions that you go through. Uh, people like Ashanti, J Lo, women like that, Jill Scott. If they do that, they straight. They got the security. They got the team. They ain't gonna run into some type of issues. But you've been the IG model, so you still close to everybody on land. Yeah, you ain't getting in them private jets in them private rooms. So you still, yeah, you get flown out, but that's it. You still going to like middle class type apartments. So where you live that, a truck driver can live where you live at. Yeah, so yeah, a stalker can live where you live at. You ain't living uh your house, you ain't living where you paying twenty thousand a month, thirty thousand, forty thousand a month, you know what I'm saying, mortgage or rent. You know what I'm saying? So if you even if you paying five thousand a month, a truck driver can pay that easy. You see what I'm saying? Or somebody else, a lawyer, or somebody else with a good job can pay that, they can be doing a couple of things. Yeah, they can afford that, they could be doing YouTube and afford that. So you're not living in an area where they make it hard for them to stalk you. You see what I'm saying? They have to go through it like the dark web way. Like hack your uh, phones, hack your camera system, and look at you and stalk you like that if you was somebody like Kim Kardashian. But somebody like you, and what you do, and how you make money, is more easier. These are the type of dudes on dark web, they look for girls like you. Especially the ones that's not on your level. You see what I'm saying? The ones that's coming up, the ones that don't got two million followers, the ones that got maybe 10,000 or 20,000 or 30,000 or 50,000 followers. You see what I'm saying? They making even less money than you. Especially if she ain't had the 2.5 million followers like you had, and she just got 10,000, or 20,000, or 30,000 followers, or 50,000, she on her way up. And you know, all she listens to is Megan Thee Stallion, City Girls, look up to girls like you. you. See what I'm saying? She look at your lifestyle, look at your body, you know, and she want to be like you, body-wise, money-wise. She want money like Megan Thee Stallion, but she ain't getting no, she getting that game, how to be a boss, she's not getting the other game. Like with us male rappers, we don't do that. We tell you what you can get in the dope game, the dog food, tell you how to sell it, tell you how to weigh it up, where the weigh, where quakes weigh, everything, where the ounce weigh, where the brick weigh. We tell you how much time you can get, what happened if you get told on, what happened if you kill an informant, what happened, yeah, we tell you about when we got robbed. They're even the hardest, the most toughest gangsters, they got all the respect, that rap, they tell you when they was a victim. You know what I'm saying? All of them will tell you that. Like y'all don't got no songs. Y'all don't, don't got no songs where y'all be like, y'all was a victim and y'all came above the situation or y'all got revenge. None of them type of songs. Gucci man to tell you. This nigga robbed me at the car wash there with 1996. Like the dudes that got a lot of respect, they gonna tell you when they was a victim. See murder, he'll tell you. Fast money, fast women, what I live for until I caught a fucking bullet in the back, bro. They thought it was dead, but I'm still in it. They'll tell you. We even got songs about hygiene, keeping ourselves up, keeping ourselves smelling good. Tupac got them songs. Wake up in the morning, breaths, thinking that I'm yawning, brush my teeth, brush my face before I get to the money. Hey, we got no song like that. Y'all don't got no song. Y'all don't tell them girls how to clean their coochie. Y'all don't tell them girls. Y'all got no song telling them girls to brush their teeth. Y'all don't even got no songs telling them girls to clean up the house. Y'all don't even got songs to tell them girls to show them how to cook. Y'all don't even show them how to cook or nothing. Y'all don't even tell them that you made a meal for the man. Yeah, you just told them that the dude was spending bands and you was getting them bands, getting them racks and you finessing and yeah, and you gotta understand when they put out their image, it make IG models like her think they can do it and they get away with it and they keep doing it until they run into that right demon that's gonna bring that pressure to them and they ain't ready to bring that pressure back. They can call the police good. Yeah, they can fight a female good and, and yeah, they done dealt with domestic violence and they done been in fights and they done been through situations. They probably been to jail before, they done stole before booths and stuff like that. They done hold guns for drug dealers and rolled up blunts and sold a little bit of weed, sold, made a sale for they nigga back in the day and all that there, but they ain't never been into a situation with a Ted Bundy. They ain't never been in a car with Jeffrey Dahmer. They ain't never been in a car with no cannibal. Yeah, they ain't never been in a car with somebody there to have sex with the dead body after they kill him. You know what I'm saying? They ain't never been with nobody that got fetishes like that. That's real dark like that. So they just see it on TV. They don't even study them. They don't even watch the interviews and study how they think. They don't even uh, see the tactics or ways that dudes will do that to get in the door to make you feel comfortable. That's all you really got to do. But man, you got to make you got to do more than that. You got to put his guard down, make sure he ain't got no guns, make sure he ain't got no security, make sure he ain't got no other gang members around him protecting him, who he is, what type of pressure he'll bring after I kill him, what type of smoke that's gonna come behind killing him. See, it's still other stuff we gotta think about before we let, you know what I'm saying, after we let our guards down that the other guy gotta think about. 
but y'all is just after they let their guards down, let us in. And what you do, you bring them to a secure location like them apartments. You could have easily paid a security, a step up, put them on payroll, pay them through ADP, through a W-2, that's a tax write-off for you. You're getting all this money, you need them tax write-off, you could have paid them whatever they charge. You're not a big you know, celebrity like that, so they ain't gonna just tax you like that. You big on a gram, but you're not a big superstar type celebrity. So you ain't gonna get taxed like that. You see what I'm saying? You might even have a dude that like you that's a security guard that can just watch outside your apartment when you have a company. See, really you only need that type of stuff when you have a company, when you know somebody coming over and you need that. Other days, when you know ain't nobody coming over there and you ain't expecting no guests, and if they was to pop up, you wouldn't answer the door. That's why you need to have that ring, doorbell, and all that there. You wouldn't even answer the door or none of that there. But the mother days you be having when you don't feel like being bothered and you know company ain't coming over there or not supposed to come over there, that's when you had them guns on you that day. That's the day when you hold yourself down you protect yourself with a Draco, with, you know, big guns, not those little small guns. At first, you know, to get comfortable, if you ain't used to that, to get comfortable. If you don't still want to deal with guns, you have somebody in the house with you. But it'd be a female. It don't got to be a man. It could be a female. It don't take a man to pull the trigger. At least when he come over, he can see somebody in the house. If not true, they got a gun on him that can put alert in his head. You know what I'm saying? That'll make him feel like, like, damn, if I kill her, I do something to her, and they hear a scream, I got to deal with them. You know what I'm saying? How I'm going to get out of this house? Because he probably ain't got no gun on him. They ain't say he killed himself by gun, or he killed her by gun. A lot of widows, they don't kill by gun. They kill by strangulation or knife or putting something in your food, put something in your drink. That's what weirdos do. That's what stalkers do. Some stalkers will gun you down. But most won't. You might run into the gun situation with street guys and demons. De that type of demon. The game member. They, them the ones that put them pistols to you. Them the ones that put them Uzis and the Macs and the Dracos and the AKs and them AR-15s to your face. You see what I'm saying? They gonna put that fear in you. Knowing you see that big barrel in your face that you gonna, you know, cooperate. The sick stalker type dude, he ain't gonna do all that there because he don't want all that loud noise. He don't want all that attention. You see what I'm saying? He want to still be able to stay on the scene because he might still want to have sex with you after you pass away. He still might want to kiss on you. These day type of fetishes. So he might not do that with the gunplay. That's going to cause, that's going to make him rush. He don't run a rush. He want to take his time. He even might want to clean up his, you know, his uh, steps, the mistakes he made. He look over the house and make sure everything's straight. Make it seem like it wasn't no forced injury or nothing like that. So he don't need, yeah, he, so he'll have to put something in your drink, something in your food, strangle you, come from behind you, wait till you fall asleep. You see what I'm saying? He got to play it like that. And that's why he can do, he can be successful at what he do and get off the scene or do multiple victims like that. Because they don't do it by the gun, but they leaving all this trace and all this DNA and all this evidence. They do it different. Let alone, they moving the body from the original crime scene. Make it even harder for the police. That's how you make the police work. When you move the body from the original crime scene. And that's what a lot of weirdos and sickos do. A lot of street guys don't really do that like that. Most of the time, they ain't gonna really move the body. They gonna leave the body right there. They just trying to feed the scene. But the crazy thing is, I can give y'all all this game, and the only thing y'all focus on in the comments, the only thing y'all worried about when I say city girl, or when I say escort, that's the only thing y'all focus on. All the game I'm giving, you're just, why you call it that? Why you call it that? City girl just gonna mean prostitute. That mean a business woman. That mean, yeah, you got an LLC, all that. You still a city girl. Come on, man. But either way it go, I ain't finna. That's the most I'm a PG-13. You look, it's on YouTube. I would've went even more graphic. I understand, so I ain't even tripping about none of that stuff. So you take it how, I'm gonna deliver the message how I'm supposed to. I'm gonna get it to you raw. We're gonna get it to you the Soldier Slim, get it to him raw way. You understand that duck? That's my take on this situation right here, man. Hit the like button, hit the comment section, man. Hit the notification, drop them comments. Let me know if I'm wrong. Come.